semiconductors semiconductors <coughs> are the material which lies between the conductor and insulator semiconductors can be acted as a conductor as well as the insulator it can be act as a conductor by giving it a electric supply or by increasing its temperature so that electrons are free electrons are created in the material and the semiconductors there are two types one is pure semiconductor that is intrinsic semiconductor another is extrinsic semiconductor semiconductor In coming to semiconductors the most commonly used semiconductor materials are germanium and silicon and uh, another question arises that is why which semiconductor material is most widely used most widely used is uh, silicon because under the no room under the room temperature room temperature the it will be in steady state steady state condition whereas in case of germanium high amount of noise is produced and the free electrons are created so that uh, um, most of them prefers the silicon material because it remains stable under the and there will be a, no reverse current in it <coughs> next is for how much voltage voltage is required to make this as conductor in case of a silicon it requires only 0.3 it requires 0.7 volts and in case of germanium it requires 0.3 volts why germanium is requires 0.3 volts means in case of germanium there will be a main, more number of electrons more number of electrons in case of uh, silicon there will be less number of electrons <coughs> you can see that uh, atomic structure uh, central part is nucleus and it uh, ger germanium as a uh, four orbits each orbits as a uh, about two 8 18 and 4 first orbit second orbit third orbit and fourth orbit these are the electrons and the maximum number of electrons in the orbit can be given by the equation 2n square this is the orbit number 1 2 3 4 so maximum number of uh, electrons in the orbit and the center part is nucleus which is made up of uh, protons and uh, neutrons where the number of protons will be equals to the uh, electrons whereas proton is uh, positively charged and there is no charge so the nucleus so the nucleus is positively charged because neutrons are no charge what you meaning is positive charge and electrons are negatively charged <laughs> coming to the silicon material silicon has a uh, three orbits each orbit has a 2 8 and 4 electrons this is first orbit second orbit and third orbit which was second and third orbit and this has the 14 electrons both each, both the germanium and silicon has the four valence electrons this is the valence band It means the valence electrons will be in the outermost orbit both of them will be having the four valence electrons <coughs> another question is uh, current flow in semiconductor current flow in semiconductor is due to holes and electrons and the current flow in external circuit or external circuit or a conductor is due to electrons only 
this is because of electron pair for explanation for this we have seen the diagram positive negative the electrons are negatively charged particles which will flow towards the positive terminals which will flow and the holes are the negative the positively charged particles which will flow towards the negative terminals of the supply so the um, the current flow in the uh, semi semiconductor this is the semiconductor material and the current flow in the semiconductor is due to holes and electrons this holes will be flowing in this direction and electrons will be flowing in this direction and uh, there are two types of semiconductors that is as i said uh, pure semiconductor and intrinsic semiconductor the pure form semiconductor is known as the intrinsic semi intrinsic type of semiconductor and uh, in the impurity is added for the pure semiconductor material then uh, uh, it is known as the extrinsic semiconductor uh, the uh, adding of impurity is known as the doping material doping there are doping means adding the impurity to the pure semiconductor material doping uh, doping uh, chemicals doping materials are uh, pentavalent and trivalent and trivalent pentavalent is added for increasing the number of free electrons and trivalent is added for increasing the valence holes increase the number of holes and the pentavalent impurities are the arsenic and antimony and the trivalent impurities are gallium and iridium adding a pentavalent impurity which provides the five free uh, five valence electrons valence electron not free electron electrons valence electrons adding a trivalent impurity provides three holes and coming to the majority and minority charge carriers as we see in that adding um, uh, p type material <laughs> if we had the pentavalent impurity if we had pentavalent impurity to the uh pentavalent impurity then it is called as the gel increases the number of uh, electrons so and it is called as n type electron n type semiconductor material and if we add a trivalent impurity it increases the holes that is positive charge so it will it is called as a p type semiconductor material coming to the majority and minority charge carriers n type semiconductor means there are majority of no, more number of electrons and then the holes so majority carriers are electrons and minority carriers are holes in case of a p type material holes are more than the electrons so majority carriers are holes and minority carriers are electrons